Hello everyone, it's Josh from your boy Jeff Like the One Only here with another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about DC Comics' brand new event, Dark Knight's Death Metal. I'm going to be talking about what is connective energy, what is crisis energy, what is a crisis event, what is the dark multiverse, who are the bad guys in this event, who are the good guys in this event, what are the bad guys trying to do, and what are the good guys trying to do. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So, connective energy is every positive energy in our universe. The speed force, the emotional spectrum, the forces of justice, they are connective. They link us to each other and to our past, reminding us that we are a part of one epic generational story. Whereas crisis energy is its opposing power. Uh, it rages. It is anti-life. It's chaos magic. It's the forces of doom. It's all power that disrupts, that takes instead of gives. It's a power based on selfishness, greed, and predation. Crisis energy looks to shatter our connection to the past and make it where only one moment is important, the now. So that's connective energy and crisis energy, respectively. Two pretty important elements for Dark Knight's death metal, especially crisis energy. Crisis events are unnatural events that change the Earth against its natural evolution. And whenever a crisis event occurs, it generates crisis energy. Now, the dark multiverse is the subconscious of all reality that exists underneath the normal multiverse. Within the dark multiverse, anything you fear or hope for materializes as its own world that only continues to exist as you continue to hope or fear for whatever generated the world in the first place. So if you're hoping to get a new car for your birthday, then there's a world in the dark multiverse where you get a new car for your birthday. But as soon as you stop hoping for it, for whatever reason, that world vanishes. Just as an example. Now, for the bad guys. So, the bad guys of Dark Knight's death metal are Perpetua, who is the goddess who created the multiverse, the evil goddess who created the multiverse, who has been imprisoned behind the source wall for many, many years, who has finally been unleashed and now wants to destroy the multiverse so that she can recreate it. She is being assisted by the Dark Knights, who are Batman from across the Dark Multiverse who have allied with her. So those are the bad guys, and we know what their goal is. Now, the way that Perpetua is accomplishing this goal is she is empowered by crisis energy. So the more crisis energy that is generated, the more powerful Perpetua becomes. And many people remember these crisis events that have occurred in the past. And due to their fears of these crisis events, crisis events are constantly going on in the dark multiverse. Essentially, there are an infinite number of crises happening at any time in the dark multiverse. And because of this, Perpetua is constantly being filled with essentially an endless pool of energy from these crisis events taking place in the dark multiverse. So as long as people remember the past crisis events that happened, she will continue to be like this all-powerful force. So who are our heroes? Wonder Woman is the main hero of Dark Knight's death metal, and she's working with the other few remaining heroes, uh, for example, Wally West the Flash, who has been combined with Dr. Manhattan to become this godlike speedster, however at the moment he's fairly weak and not at his full power. They're working together to try and harness the crisis energy that's generated in the Dark Multiverse, the same way that Perpetua is harnessing the crisis energy. But instead of trying to destroy and recreate the multiverse, they want to reshape the universe their own way. They want to cause a crisis event, but they want to do it to kind of save everything. And they're calling it an anti-crisis. Now, I think the only reason why they're calling it an anti-crisis is um, because they're causing a crisis event, but for a good reason. But it's still just a crisis event. Based on the definition that we went over earlier, 
it still fits within that definition. Essentially, they are trying to harness the energy of the crisis events happening in the dark multiverse to cause their own crisis event to save the day. So that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, and the reason why I explained like connective energy and crisis energy and what crisis events are and what the dark multiverse is is because you kind of need to understand all these things in order to truly understand what's happening in the Dark Knight's death metal. But um, this is like the bare bones main stuff you need to know. Perpetua and the evil Batman from the Dark Multiverse are destroying every universe in the multiverse so that they can then recreate the multiverse in their own image. And they're doing this with the crisis energy generated from the Dark Multiverse. Wonder Woman and her fellow remaining heroes are trying to essentially cause their own crisis event using the crisis energy that is generated in the Dark Multiverse in order to save everything. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on in Dark Knight's Death Metal. If you guys have any questions or any thoughts, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring that notification bell to be notified whenever you do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black One Only, vlogging out. Peace, guys. Chickity guy.